First they came for your internal combustion engines and now they are coming for your carbon fiber. That's right, carbon fiber may be on the chopping block, but the good news is you can replace it just by going down the drugstore aisle and picking up something that's already on the shelf. My name is Scott from Koenig and today we're gonna to be talking about the carbon fiber replacement. I'm on burgundy. Damn it. As a car enthusiast, there is something that's very, very cool about carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Is it light? Is it extra strong? Why is it that we tend to want to make every single thing for our cars replaced with carbon fiber? Shift knobs, hoods, roofs, you name it, carbon fiber has the ability to make it that much cooler. But when we get down to carbon fiber, there is a problem that exists and that has to do with the cost to produce it and the energy efficientness that potentially could be killing it the same way they tried to kill your internal combustion engine. Security. So how do we go around it and what's gonna be this replacement? And of course, you know the answer to this, flaxseed. So what exactly is this flax plant? It really has become something that could be super interesting. In fact, in 2019, BMW's Formula E based IFE 20 carried a lightweight cooling shaft that was produced from flax, a plentiful flower plant often found in northern parts of the US and Western Canada. Its nutritious seeds are widely recognized for the health benefits and advantages that you could probably get in your local uh, pharmacy if you walk down there and pick up one of those little bottles that says like, flax on it and you can take it and it's not gonna make you any stronger or lighter, but it sure is supposedly gonna make something healthier. And when it comes down to flax, you can also use it in linen production, which is something that we care nothing about. But when it comes down to making cars cool and making race cars, BMW realized that there was a really cool method to using flax that a company, Becom, was actually working with. The group specializes in bio-based materials and part of their intent is to decarbonize the world by not skimping on the performance. But their efforts are admirable because they are trying to create a cleaner solution for using natural fibers in high performance settings. Now what began as a free ride skiing project in a humble garage in 2011 using fibers has since evolved into becoming an authority on various processes that are used in sports, luxury yachts, satellite panels, and of course, then there's this beautiful motorsport use that we like. And it got BMW thinking, hmm, could this be the upside of something that we haven't even thought about? With its impressive absorption and impact resistance, they found a really big advantage to the substance. So much so that BMW's venture capital arm invested in Becomp, and they're now a holding stake partner. I'm the co-founder and CEO of, of Becomp, and uh, what we do is really taking flax, you all know from, from the linen textile industry, so it's the same fiber materials to make high-performance bio-based solutions. You can use them in race car body panels, in supercar body panels. More importantly, to really have impact, you can also use them in interiors, such as seat backs or, or side panels in, in doors, make things much more lighter, so we can we, we, we achieve all, all the way to 60% weight reductions, and also we decarbonize. So when we replace these carbon parts or these plastic parts, we take out all the way to 90% of CO2 footprint in terms of embodied energy. BMW would later successfully incorporate this new fiber option on their M4, DTM, and GT4 competition cars. Actually, the car is made from, well, actually utilizes lots of, not really carbon fiber, but um, linen fiber, the same stuff that you can find in your clothes. And like many things that started in the upper echelon of motorsports, they really do have a way of trickling down to the mass market. And that's where we're going to start to see this material really take light. Now it looks like BMW is going to essentially roll this into some of their production vehicles in the very near future. Anything from the M parts catalog offering an impressive carbon fiber reinforced plastic pieces. Now the biggest takeaway for all of this is the fact that this material allows us to have an alternative to carbon fiber that is actually much lower in the CO2 production of the material. And this is a good thing. It's a win for the you know universe and all the people that are environmental gods. It's also a win because it's going to allow us to be able to have an alternative to carbon fiber as we go forward, especially since there was even some recent conversation that the Europeans were having about putting in a block in use of carbon fiber in vehicles in some later date. You right to jail, right to jail, right away. Now in April that was struck down, so you don't have to worry about that right now. But I will tell you, 
If it happened once before, it probably could happen again. And the way to go around this whole thing is just come up with some solution that doesn't, you know, uh, take over the world without us. Now, BMW feels so confident that flax fiber is a thing, they have already stated that it will eventually replace carbon fiber reinforced plastic parts which is a big deal because if you've ever seen some of these radiator supports or core supports or different structural pieces on cars, they're light, strong, look like plastic, but they're stronger. You might be thinking, well, is it gonna look like carbon fiber? Interestingly enough, if you put them side by side, the answer is probably not exactly, but I will say from the pictures that I've seen, it really does look very, very good. It's kind of like when we came up with that beehive weave thing with the carbon fiber, but then it's like different. So it's kind of like a digi camo type carbon fiber. It's cool looking enough. And trust me, it will serve the purposes of the masses as far as the look of carbon fiber goes. So I'm pretty pumped about getting it. And here's what I think is really even cool is the fact that it turns out that this is an average 25 to 40% cheaper to produce. How cheap? Jesus. Hell? Does that mean that you'll end up with some really cool carbon fiber parts that are gonna be less in price? Well, geez, I hope so. All right, so is carbon fiber going away in totality? The answer to this is no. And you knew that before you watched this video, so don't I wanna hear this clickbait stuff. But look, here's the deal. This is a real alternative, and it's a way that some of these companies, especially the OEs, are going to expand your alternative uh, options for using different composites. And it's important to know that while flax uh, may not be exactly the same in the strength to weight ratio as carbon fiber, it's gonna give us a lot of great things that carbon fiber gives us with less energy used. It's gonna be more sustainable. It's gonna be more environmentally friendly. It's gonna be cleaner. And hopefully it will be cheaper. I'm broke as a joke. And that's the part that you and I care about the most. Let's be honest. All we want is cheap carbon fiber parts, or in this case, flax parts that are carbon fiber looking. Anyhow, my friends, that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you find anything cool about this video or any other video, go ahead and throw a subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And that's it. We'll catch you in the next one.